Sentence fragments is a very common writing error. A lot of people write using fragments, and sometimes they don't realize that they've done it. So this can be a problem. The good news is it's a problem that's easily fixed. And I'm going to show you some examples of sentence fragments and tell you how to revise them so that they are no longer fragments. First of all, what is a fragment? A fragment is a group of words that's punctuated like a sentence, but it lacks something that's necessary for it to be an independent clause. You see it all the time, especially in advertising. Taste or nutrition. Now we understand what that means, but it's not a sentence. Convenience or savings. It's not a sentence. So fragments are something that exist and they're used all the time, but it is important to know when you have one and how to change it. So let's start looking at some examples. Let's start by talking about phrase fragments. A phrase is a group of words that lacks a subject, a verb, and sometimes a subject and a verb. Phrases are things like verbals, which we've talked about, participials, gerunds, and infinitives. They also include things like prepositional phrases, noun phrases, and appositive phrases. Now sometimes these phrases are punctuated like a sentence. When this happens, it's really a fragment, not a sentence or an independent clause. To revise it, what you want to do is attach it to an independent clause or make it into a separate sentence. Let's look at the example here. NBC is broadcasting the debates with discussions afterward. And we have here a prepositional phrase, with discussions afterward. It's not a sentence by itself. It's a fragment. Easy to fix this little problem here. All you need to do is change the period after debates to a comma. Then you end up with NBC is broadcasting the debates with discussions afterward. Done. Now we have a sentence, not a fragment. Very, very easy to fix. Sometimes we also have fragments that begin with transitions. Now, transitions are words that let you move between sentences and between paragraphs smoothly. Things like, for example, also, such as, and that. It's very important that you make sure when you've used one of these words that you're writing a sentence and not a fragment. Look at my example. Joan Didion has written on many subjects, such as the Hoover Dam and migraine headaches. The example has been introduced using a transitional word, such. And what we've ended up with is a fragment. Same way to fix this as we did on the previous example. Change the period after subjects to a comma. End up with Joan Didion has written on many subjects, such as the Hoover Dam and migraine headaches. Now we have a sentence and not a fragment. Compound predicate fragments also happen pretty frequently. This happens when one part of a compound predicate lacks a subject, but is punctuated as a separate sentence. Now, look at the example here. They sold the house and moved into an apartment. We have a compound predicate, a compound verb, sold and moved. Sold has the subject they, but moved isn't next to a subject. And in this particular example, it's been punctuated as though it's his own sentence. And it's not. It's a fragment. Very easy to revise. They sold the house, comma, and moved into an apartment. Again, we fixed it very, very easily. Can also have fragments with clauses. A clause that's dependent contains a subject and a verb, but it still can't stand alone as a sentence. It usually begins with a subordinating conjunction. Subordinating conjunctions um, often lead to fragments. And let me show you the examples and you'll see what I mean. When I decided to switch to part-time work, I gave up a lot of my earning potential. Now here we have a dependent clause beginning with a subordinating conjunction, when. So when I decided to switch to part-time work is a fragment, not a sentence. But if we change the period to a comma, when I decided to switch to part-time work, I gave up a lot of my earning potential, we now have a sentence. Look at the other example, and this is probably the most common mistake that I see writers make. Because he loves dancing, he was eager to learn some new steps. 
Many people think that sentences can begin with because, and they can, as long as the subordinate clause leads to a complete sentence. For example, all we need to do is change the period after dancing to a comma, we have a sentence. Because he loves dancing, he was eager to learn some new steps. Now we have a sentence, not a fragment. Very, very easy to revise that. Let's look at some more examples. Here we have an example. The town's growth is controlled by zoning laws, a strict set of regulations for builders and corporations. Very simple revision. Change the period after laws to a comma. Now we have a new sentence. The town's growth is controlled by zoning laws, a strict set of regulations for builders and corporations. Very easy to fix. Let's look at another example. Kamika stayed out of school for three months after Linda was born to recuperate and to take care of her baby. We've got an infinitive phrase to recuperate and to take care of her baby that's standing alone and is punctuated as though it's a sentence, but it's really a fragment. It's an easy fix, just like I've been telling you. Change the period after born to a comma. All good. Kamika stayed out of school for three months after Linda was born to recuperate and to take care of her baby. Easy fix, no fragment. Let's look at another example. Most injuries in automobile accidents occur in two ways. When an occupant either is hurt by something inside the car or is thrown from the car. Now we've got a fragment starting with when. And this is a very common thing that a lot of writers do. It's another easy way to fix it. Most injuries in automobile accidents occur in two ways. An occupant either is hurt by something inside the car or is thrown from the car. Very simple. Take off the when, then it's changed instantly from a fragment to a sentence. So let me just wrap everything up for you here. We all use fragments in our speech all the time. And it's okay because people understand what we're saying. And it's sometimes okay to use fragments in our writing too, especially when we're writing fiction. But when it's time for us to write something that's professional or academic, we need to understand to find those sentence fragments and eliminate them because that's going to make our writing look so much more professional or so much more academic and we're going to do a better job.